For this next video, I'd like to continue where we left off, working with input-output tables to uh, answer problems. Um, I've actually, if you go into Canvas, you'll see uh, handout number two. It looks something like our example two on the bottom of page 13, uh, American Fitness. I'm going to open this up in my whiteboard. So, looks like we have a problem here. It says American Fitness charges a one-time registration fee of $50 plus $25 per month. All right, so I think if you join like Workout World or Retro Fitness or Gold's Gym, usually there's like an initiation fee and then you pay a monthly fee. So here we have a $50 fee plus $25 every month. So that's a verbal description of the problem. We can also describe the problem symbolically, right? Saying Y would be the total cost of the membership equals $25 for every month that you're joined, right? So if you're there five months, it'd be 25 times five. If you were there two months, it'd be 25 times two. And then don't forget to add the $50 initiation fee. Okay. And then we're asked to complete the table below. So let's think about this. Let's see if I can move this up a little bit. A little bit more. All right, so again, using the equation they give us, right, for zero months, right, it would be y equals $25 times zero plus the 50 bucks, right? So the first day you join, you pay $50, right, the initiation fee. So this would be 50. And as an ordered pair, it'd be zero comma 50. Right? If you were there six months, y would equal 25 times 6 plus 50. If you were there 12 months, it would be y equals 25 times 12 plus 50. And you can do this, work this out in your calculator. Right? If I wanted to do something like uh, 25 times 6 plus 50, right? that would give me my answer for uh, this one, right? 200. So let me just write that in there. This would be 200, and this would be 6, 200. And then if we were to do 12 months, right, I could still use my calculator, except it's now going to be 25 times 12 plus 50, right? And then you'd have to do it again for 18 months and then for 24 months. So you can pause the video and then calculate these values just to make sure that your numbers match my numbers. So it looks like every six months, the amount you've paid goes up by $150, right? And yeah, I'll pause for a second. Okay. So let's carry on. Um, oops. See if I can move. Here we go. So now it says here's what a graph looks like. So if we were to plot these points, 0, 50, 6, 200, 12, 350, all of those points would be on this line, right? 24, 650. If you go down to 24, um, let's see if I can draw. Right? If you go down to 24 and up, you'll notice that that's at 650, right? This point here is 24 comma 650, right? So all of those points fall on this line, right? So here is a numerical description of uh, gym membership is 50 bucks plus $25 per month, right? This is a numerical description. Here is a graphical description of that same sentence, right? And then they ask us to fill in, uh, oh, and I forgot to mention, here is a symbolic representation, right? So it's three, right? Symbolic would be the equation or the formula. We have numerical is the table, graphical is the graph, and then to finish out the video, it says the ordered pair 30, 800 on the graph, right? So let's get to here's 30, 800. That's this point up here, right? Means that after 30 months, oops, right? After 30 months, of membership, the total cost was $800, right? That's the meaning of this point. The meaning of the ordered pair 21, 575, 
I'm going to try and use my typewriter tool and see how it goes. That means after, oh, it's like right in the way. After 21 months, 21 months, the cost is, I think it says 575. Yeah, right? After 21 months, the cost is $575, right? I hope that helps. I'm going to do another video, maybe one or two more, just to finish up Lesson 1.1. Thank you for watching.